Hi Cancer, welcome to your lunar eclipse special in Aqua lunar eclipse in Aquarius special with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So lunar eclipse in Aries time. Now in stark contrast to the solar eclipse, uh, solar, solar eclipse is like an initiatory energy. It starts something or it welcomes something into your life. Whereas the lunar eclipse is about a culmination or an ending. Now this one I really believe is going to be the most intense of the three that we've got happening. One's already happened. This will be the next one on the 27th of July. And um, then we'll have one more after that, which will be the 11th of August. So this, attempt, this eclipse is going to be intense anyway, but for you it's going to take on even more significance. One, because the moon is obviously your ruler in the zodiac, and two, because um, this is happening in your eighth house. Now, the eighth house is all about death, destruction, uh, you know, taboos, sex. Um, it's all to do with all of, yeah, all of the deeper stuff of life. But don't forget, with all of these culminatory sort of type of energies comes a rebirth. This is like a grand clearing of the decks anyway, by its very nature. You've got the lunar eclipse, which is about culmination. It's about endings. It's a time of blessings when we reap the rewards for efforts that have already been sown. But it is a completion of some sort. On top of that, you've got the Mars retrograde. Mars doesn't like to go retrograde because it's about assertion, forward progression. It's about our force and our passion and how we do things. Uh, it's the in, it's like the the energy that we use to get things done. Mars going retrograde conjunct the lunar eclipse, conjunct the south node, which is about the karmic release. It's about letting something go for good. Now, Mars retrograde, I believe, gives us the ability to be precise, to be strategic and to really make a conscious decision because all of our energy, all of our emotions are going to be heightened because of the lunar eclipse. So they'll be really close to the surface. Nobody does feelings more so than you do, apart from probably a Scorpio. Um, <laughs> worth mentioning, don't know why. And, you know, this is going to kind of see you like a surgeon, like, you know, Mars rules surgeons, it rules knives, uh, sharp objects, it rules uh, lasers. This is about cutting something out or cutting something off or removing it for good. Now, all of this, you know, all of this together, this to me, especially with the South Node there, the karmic release, this is about really making a choice to, cho to consciously remove something from our lives because this is a deeply eliminative sort of energy. Now, um, this is a culmination of sorts and an ending anyway. Um, and in this house, it will be going to the root of any psychological back baggage that you've got. You know, this is where you find the really deep stuff in the Zodiac. Between the 8th and the 12th is where you find all of the stuff about people that they don't necessarily want to share or wouldn't want out in the open. Now, the, the beauty of this is that with the Martian energy there, that ability to really consciously and... Um, you know, uh, and and yeah, to consciously make the decision to remove something or eliminate something from our lives. This can see you really looking deeply at what your baggage is and finding uh, the energy within yourself to remove that, to truly let it go. Um, there'll be a time for you to mourn later for the you that you once were because, you know, the proverbial ish is about to be cut out once and for all. Um, you know, and that's pretty much it. Like, because this is gonna take you so deep, it's in the house of depth, the eighth house. You know, it goes deep into things. It goes right to the root of stuff because the ruler of, uh, you know, the uh, yeah, the ruler of um, the eighth house of Scorpio is actually Pluto, which is about deep transformation. It talks about getting right to the depth of something. It doesn't do anything on the surface. It goes right to the point, right to the root, and then excavates it so that it can be cleared up. You know, this is about really pruning and weeding your psychological area, you know, and going through it with a fine tooth comb. In fact, going through it with, you know, with a surgeon's scalpel to cut out any of the crap that just doesn't need to be there anymore, that isn't gonna serve you. Um, given the fact that we've got the square to Uranus there as well, 
this could see some of these endings come you know really really swiftly you could be coming to really uh, you know big understandings within yourself and saying right okay you know what that's got to go it doesn't help me it doesn't serve me it's not going to help me move forward i need to remove that i need to eliminate that from my life it could also see you as well because you know the eighth house is about power and powerlessness and where we feel those uh, how we deal with that this could see you really if you feel like you've been robbed of your power in any way shape or form this could see you stamping that out you know and putting a full stop and a line underneath it and saying right that isn't happening anymore that experience that understanding is no longer a part of what I want for my life and it can see you really gung-ho about taking your power back um <laughs> It can see you possibly even Hulk like, you know, because don't forget Mars is aggression and it's um and it rules that kind of energy. And because it's going inward, because you know, Mars retrograde, it brings that sort of focus and that energy inward. And so there is a danger already with the lunar eclipse of our emotions being heightened and really sensitive and really to the surface. Then you add to that the Mars retrograde energy. This could see you, you know, really being emotive and saying, right, I'm not having that. That doesn't work for me. You're trying to take my power. It could see you being really, you know, almost like eruptive, eruptive um, in your approach to things, especially when it comes to taking your power back. And the only thing that I will say is be kind. Remember, you're a Cancer. You do kindness and love and nurturing, you know, better than better than many of the signs actually. And if you can keep a hold of that and be really conscious of it and about it, it will give you the ability to take your power back in the best, most conscious way, but also in the most assertive way that is best for you and best for others. It doesn't have to be explosive and eruptive. It just needs to be finite. Um, yeah, if you can control this energy, magical and mystical things can really happen for you. Magic and mysticism, um, you know, aside from again the twelfth, you can find that stuff in the um, in the eighth house as well. You know, magic and the utilization of energy to bring about transformation. You can really find some deep emotional understandings. You can really find yourself um, excavating your psychological self. You know and really digging deep into that and saying right okay you know what it is time to transform it is time to do something else you know the old sign for the eighth house uh, the old sign for scorpio was the phoenix and this is about going really deep into something and suffering that proverbial death you know going through that moment of right okay this needs to be eliminated it isn't for my highest it doesn't serve me it's not gonna allow me to be that perfect whole and complete being that i can be especially off the back of the solar eclipse that happened in your sign you know it's bringing you a brand new era of life a brand new era of self and with this eliminative energy in your eighth house it can see you rewriting and rewiring your psychological makeup in favor for a better you to come forward um yeah as, and if all of this wasn't enough because of the south node uh, um, energy that's taking place there and the karmic stuff um, it, it can see you really coming through the whole experience if you can go through it consciously it can see you coming through it and feeling totally and utterly cleansed it can feel you see you feeling lighter and brighter than you have in a very long time and if you can really be conscious about it um, that step forward that you make will be on a brand new ground on a brand new fertile ground um, yeah, and it can see you coming through with a clean heart and soul, fresh new emotions and passion for life that is unfettered or untainted by who you were in favour of who you choose to be now. You know, some really deep, really potent, powerful stuff here. I mean, I'll be paying attention to this Cancerian reading as well because obviously I'm a moon sign Cancer. So this is kind of giving me, you know, a little flavor of what's to come in terms of my emotional world in terms of what's coming, you know, in the, the, the me that I am, you know, in my day-to-day -day life behind closed doors, you know, going through some really big, deep psychological shifts. The tarot's message for you the chariot look at that i mean that is amazing because the chariot card is actually ruled by by the sign of cancer it rules cancer um which is amazing because you know the last eclipse happened in your in your first house 
And so that gave you, uh, you know, the ability to choose where it is that you want to go from here. This eclipse goes into your eighth house and gives you the chance to rewrite who you were. And then the chariot card comes forward to remind you that success, victory, um, the understanding of what it is to have those things in and of your life is absolutely at hand. And it means it will be a fast, bumpy ride. It's not going to be easy. It is going to be intense. It's going to be emotionally intense. It's going to be excuse me, intense in terms of our uh, our interactions as well, but it's going to be so worth it. And the chariot card is that, it's success, it's victory, and it's also the understanding that the way to steer through things is just to do it by the sheer force of your will. Tap into who you really are, and more importantly, throughout this whole eclipse season, remember who you are. Allow what needs to go to be eliminated and cut away in favour of who you choose to be going forward in and of and for the rest of your life. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance itself. Let me know how this plays out for you, what you feel, what comes up. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Push the notification button if you are already a subscriber so that you get notifications when new videos are posted. You can reach me on the links below for personal readings. Take care and I'll see you very soon for more videos.